Hello again. Looks like the changeable theme is with us for a little while yet, and so that means we can expect a bit more rain in most places, not everywhere. Looking at the bigger picture, and there's a frontal system moving across us, we actually see this cold front uh, decaying as it lingers over us through Friday, so not going to bring a huge amount of rain. But then there's another system that's coming in to the northwest as we go through this weekend, and that's going to bring something a bit more blustery, a bit breezy, and also some further rain, particularly towards northwestern parts further south and east to stay in drier and actually pretty warm as well. But back to the here and now through the rest of Thursday and that lingering front bringing a fair bit of clouds, some rain across parts of northern England, maybe Wales and southern Scotland as well. Also a swathe of heavier, perhaps more persistent rain pushing into some parts of northern Scotland as we go through the night. But otherwise there will be quite a bit of dry weather around for many places, even some clear skies, especially across parts of uh, East Anglia, eastern England, some decent clear breaks in the cloud here. Despite any clear skies, it's, it's not going to be a chilly night, not at all. We have some pretty humid air across us at the moment, so temperatures not dropping a huge amount. Most places staying well in double figures, some places only dropping to around 15 or 16 Celsius. So a pretty mild start to the day on Friday. For some, it is going to be a wet one, noticeably across some parts of Scotland, some heavier bursts of rain for a time, but a lot of that does clear away towards the east and break up as we go through towards the afternoon. And actually by the afternoon across northwest mainland Scotland, a good deal of fine sunny weather on offer here. Further south, a few showers for southern parts of Scotland around the Borders area and also across parts of Northern Ireland. And then that decaying front that I mentioned earlier is going to be lingering across parts of, well, the North Midlands into parts of Wales. Like I said, it doesn't bring a huge amount of rain, just some drizzly light rain perhaps, most likely over any higher ground. Now, there could be a few bursts of rain perhaps across parts of Southwest England, but actually for much of the South, it's looking dry through Friday and across parts of southeast Kent in particular, good deal of sunshine on offer. And with that, temperatures are likely to be a degree or so higher than on Thursday. So we're looking at highs around 24, 25 Celsius for some places in the southeast. And even elsewhere, yes, it is going to be a bit fresher, but nonetheless, high, t high teens or perhaps even low 20s for some places, particularly towards the east of any higher ground. Then as we go through the evening on Friday, we are going to see a lot of the showers across northern parts fizzling out. And uh, as that front fully decays, that rain and association with it will clear away as well. We do have a bit of a ridge of high pressure calming things down somewhat, but it's not going to last particularly long. You can already see the next weather system starting to make its way into parts of the, the west, northwest, bring some cloud, bring some rain and the wind starting to pick up. But ahead of this, so across central eastern parts of England, a dry, clear night with more clear skies on offer compared to this coming night. It may be a touch fresher for some places, but still temperatures not dropping a huge amount. Then through Saturday, as I mentioned, a northwest southeast split. So across uh, many central eastern parts, southeastern parts of England, a fine picture. Lots of sunshine yet again further north and west, though. A breezy day and there will be outbreaks of rain. Some of that rain could be quite heavy in places, so do watch out for some heavier bursts. But it's not necessarily going to be all that persistent, quite showery in nature, and so there will be some drier breaks, perhaps even a bit of sunshine breaking through at times. Now, as I mentioned, we have some warmer air coming in, and so uh, on Saturday, I'm expecting the peak in our temperatures for the next few days. We're looking at highs around 25, maybe 26, 27 Celsius isn't out of the question uh, across parts of the southeast, fresher elsewhere, and with the breeze, the cloud, outbreaks of rain, well, it's not going to feel especially warm. But uh, as we go through Saturday night and into Sunday, we see the weather system that's bringing the more changeable weather it does clear away, but we continue with some showery bursts coming into the northwest as we go into the beginning of next week, albeit a ridge of high pressure builds. And so that should quieten the weather down for Monday. But as you can see behind me, there's another system waiting to come in from the west. So the, the changeable theme of some drier periods and then something a bit wetter and, and breezier continues as we go through, well, much of next week. We are also going to see things turning a bit fresher. So after a very warm day on Saturday in the south, it's going to be several degrees fresher by the time we get to Sunday. For more information, head to our YouTube channel and watch our weekend forecast. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.